shooting at McKinley High School. F-40 also respond. Time 15:48 hours. Multiple fire. That's affirmative, Chief. We're approaching McKinley now. Uh, so this is a student that's actually inside McKinley High School right now. Well, they just said it was people shooting up the school and somebody got shot. My heart just goes out to everybody, everybody that got a child that going to school. We were all just screaming and panicking. We were so scared. And I know me, I was shaking really bad. Thank God she's safe and nothing happened to her. I don't know she got out. Oh, now is not the time to point the fingers. Now is the time for everybody to sit down at the table. You know, our superintendent, our school board, our community leaders, our Buffalo police, and the children. What's your message for the city? So, my thoughts and prayers go out to the people that were injured. I uh, certainly want parents to know that we support them, we support their children, we're going to support the school district and make sure that their children going to and coming from school are safe. This is breaking news from 7 News. Good morning, Buffalo. We begin your morning with the breaking news that's making national headlines an attack outside of one local high school. This morning, we know one student was stabbed in the McKinley High School parking lot in Buffalo. A security guard shot in the leg. That 14 year old student is still in the hospital. The guard treated and released. My co-anchor Ed Dranch is live this morning outside of McKinley High School. Ed, breaking down the latest on what happened here and also the search that continues now for who did this. Ed, good morning. Yeah, and things, Katie, are pretty much back to normal this morning. You'd never know that just 15 hours ago, there was a massive police presence here. The entire area along Elmwood Avenue here at Middlesex in front of McKinley High School was cordoned off. So much of that focus was on the parking lot here where all of this is said to have happened about 345 yesterday afternoon, just after dismissal. There won't be any students here at McKinley High School. Each of those students will be learning remotely today after what was likely a terrifying day for so many of those students. Police this all started again about 345 in the afternoon on the south side of the building right by the parking lot. A 14 year old boy stabbed and a security guard shot in the leg. Buffalo police say the student had surgery and is recovering at Oshai Children's Hospital. There were about 100 students at the school, but the suspect still on the run this morning. So we're going to dig deeper into the search for the suspect, where we go from here and the school community coming together coming up in moments, Katie. All right, Ed, we'll be checking back in with you throughout the morning and looking forward to all of that. You know, our hearts go out to everyone involved in this incident, the students, the parents, the school community. This is a really difficult story.